Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This episode is a bit different, really. Um, I'm going to do a little kind of review of the three push mowers that I have ended up with. 12 months ago, I started off with this mower, which is the Web Auto 30. And I bought this one um, because basically my husband complained about how much petrol that I was using because I like to cut the lawn quite frequently. And he sort of put a ban on it and said I could only use it once a week. So I thought, stuff that, I'll buy a manual mower. And this was the one that I settled on. It was cutting heights from, I think if I remember rightly, it was 11 to 24 millimeters. Now, when we had some work done on our house and had this extension built, there's the fence behind us. There's a dog garden out the other side of it. And the dogs have access in and out of that area with a dog flap that is locked at night. Don't come looking for me. And um, we decided to have a second mower. So my husband then bought me this mower, which is the Web WH, I think it's WH, 18. And that is a 40 centimeter cut. This is a 30 centimeter cut. He thought he a bigger grass box and he just thought it was better. And the fact that there's a third mower should tell you that I don't particularly like using this and I will get into why shortly. So that's this one. And the third mower is an Einhell um, 40 centimeter cut. And I've only recently bought that. And I'll tell you what I like and dislike about that one too. So let's get into it and we'll start with the web. This web mower is um, 8.5 kilos in weight. It is pretty maneuverable. What I will say about these handles though is well, there's a lot of play in them after 12 months they have come apart and needed to be welded together again and i find if you hit a bump or a dip it's because of how you're holding it. it's very quickly to sort of go off key it doesn't stripe there is a little um stripe thing at the back it kind of leaves roller marks in the wheel marks in the grass but it doesn't actually stripe the grass box is not very big at all but it is easy to, it's really simple. You just pull it off here, um, tip it out, and obviously just push it back on. It's quite easy to set the different in height. You just pull a little knob on the side and it just lowers and goes up and down. And as I say, I think, as I said earlier, it cuts between 11 and 24 mils. And I have it on the second cut. And I don't find that it digs into the ground and churns the ground up at all. It, it mows quite well. So I'll just do a little bit of mowing now. I'm not going right to the edges. As you can see, our garden isn't on the flat and this is really simple to push up and down the hill and it turns quite easy to maneuver it. So I'm really happy with the cut of this. I was just a bit disappointed with how the handles kept breaking. So now we move on to the other web mower, the WH18. This mower is a whole different ball game. My husband bought it because he thought being wider, having a bigger grass box, that it would just take me less time to cut the lawn. And it, it does put a stripe in the lawn. However, there comes with a lot of downsides to that. This mower is 18 and a half kilograms in weight. And my husband didn't realize that when he was buying it. And the problem with that mower, that weight in itself is that when the ground is soft, this type of mower, it does churn into the ground. Add to that, the cutting height of this mower starts at 25 millimeters up to 70 millimeters, which is just, too long. I mean, who wants a lawn 70 millimetres long? Um, it's not very manoeuvrable. And obviously with the weight it has, not only does it churn in and damage the lawn when I'm turning, it also um, is just a maul, as you will see. It does actually have quite a smooth action. When it's going, it's fine. But as predicted, it really isn't picking up much because 
the grass is not short enough for it and this is on its shortest cut. I find that if the grass is long enough for this mower to cut it, then actually it's very difficult to push it through that length of grass. I probably didn't really give a fair representation of just how difficult this mower is to use because the grass is currently quite short in here. Um, as I say, when it is long enough for this to do a proper cut on it, it then becomes very difficult to push it through that grass. But it leaves a nice finish. I'll just show you the river. Turn you around. You will see that it's difficult to see in this light, but it does leave a stripe in the lawn. A subtle stripe, but it does leave one. The grass box on the web is easy to um, change. You just pull it off, obviously tip it out, put it on. There's two height settings for it. Um, there you go, you can have it sort of up off the ground more if you're doing really long grass or as I usually have it like this. Changing the height of the lawn is so easy with this um, lever here. Well, I mean, you can see who wants a 70 mil cut on the lawn. So ditching that mower in a fit of temper I then researched and bought this one. This is an Iron Hell um, 40 centimetre cut and this weighs seven and a half kilograms. They do a 30 centimetre one which is only six and a half kilogram. It is really 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 light and it's extremely maneuverable. This cuts from 13 centimetres to 25 I think it was. So I've got this set it is actually set on its lowest cut at the moment and it doesn't churn into the ground um, and scalp the lawn at all. It's really easy to manoeuvre. Like the rest of them, they don't get right up to the edges so you will need to strim the edges because obviously the blade is uh, inside the wheels so you know it's only going to cut to here. Purposely chose one with the solid handle this time knowing that the web one, the two handles mean that it's sort of goes awry when it hits a lump or a dip, especially going over the grid here. So I will just do a little bit of mowing with this and show you just how easy and light this is. As you can see, it's really light. Do a bit of an edge here. And go back on myself and I'll come up here now because obviously I've done there already. It seems really sharp this one and it, it does a really nice cut. Now I hear you wondering what's the downside to this mower? Well there's two and one is that you'll see in a second it doesn't really pick up the grass that well. The grass box is not very good it sort of falls off the front edge here. So while the grass box is much bigger than the first web mower, and it does hold more, you are losing some of it. Final negative for this mower is simply how the grass box attaches. Uh, it, it is a little bit fiddly. Obviously you've got to undo this clip here, stand the handle up, and then you've physically got to pull it from each side of the roller to lift it and then obviously I'm not emptying it right now but to to do the same in return push it back and and then thread it around the handle and clip it so it, it's it's a little bit fiddly and you feel a little bit close to the blades I can't I'm not gonna lie the other downside to having the grass box on the back is obviously if you are mowing without the grass box on your feet just get covered in grass so so there is that to consider as well. But all of them, all three of them, cut the grass quite well, whether it's long, short, wet. Um, they're not bothered about wet grass or anything. They, they, they all cut quite well. As with all real mowers, if you get sort of twiggy bits like this on your lawn that are blowing off the trees, they will jam the mower quite easily and you sort of have to back up or go forward to sort of free them and sort of pull them out. Um, I find that the web one, the first web, the little web, um, is easier to unblock than any of the other ones. 
um, but it doesn't happen very often. I tend to sort of pick these things up as I'm going along. So that's my little sort of trial of them. Um, they all work, they all do the job. This is just far too heavy, especially as the ground gets soft and the fact that we're on a bit of a slope here. Um, to give you a fair representation price-wise, this web mower is $159.99 from Amazon. This iron helm mower has cost £65. And this original web mower is on Amazon. They're all from Amazon. Other retail outlets do exist. It was $99.99. So, I mean, really, best value for money and cut if you want a real mower. And lightness and ease of use is definitely this one. Close second, I love the cut of both of these. This one, if you want a longer cut and you don't mind the weight, then it does do a really nice job. It is just too much of a maul for me on my lawn and I just don't like that I'm trying to get the lawn nicer and it's constantly digging into the ground and scalping the lawn. Thanks for watching. I hope if you are considering buying a manual reel mower that this video has helped you just a little bit with your choices or points to consider um, when choosing one of your own. Um, I mean, I love them. I find it quite satisfying. It doesn't take me any longer than it used to take me to use the petrol mower. And I certainly wouldn't particularly want to use a, um, in a rotary electric mower or worry about how long the battery lasts on a rechargeable mower. So for me, manual all the way. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you next time. I'll take my favourite with me. I've got a lawn to finish. Now I've finished the lawn, you'll be able to see that there is, I don't know if it picks it up on the video, but there are subtle stripes with the Iron Hell mower. I'm really pleased with it. I should actually just say that the three mowers were purchased with our own money and there's a vast array of real mowers out there and this review is only limited to the ones that I have personally bought. I don't have any experience of any others and I chose the ones based on the reviews and the cutting height that I wanted for my lawn. I would say if you are considering buying yourself a manual real mower then to go ahead and do it. You won't regret it. Just make sure you're not buying one that is too heavy to manoeuvre on your lawn. Thanks again. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.